Welcome to Mass Master Friends. In this uh, short video, I am going to take five questions of uh, Advanced Engineering Mathematics Exercise Set 2.2. Questions will be from 16 to 20. These questions are essentially the questions on which we are we have to form the second order ordinary differential equation. The roots are given, and on the basis of the roots given what is required is uh, to actually find out the second order quadratic differential equation uh, of course these are all homogeneous equation okay so we will take the first one first one uh, you see there are two roots which are given these are essentially uh, what we can write as c1 e to the power 2.6 x plus c2 e to the power minus 4.3x usually uh, when we solve the quadratic equation we write the equation in this form to make it linearly independent okay and uh, the roots are of course here and this is of case one where the discriminant b minus 4 ac is greater than zero we have two distinct real root distinct real roots and roots are one root is 2.6 and the second root which is r2 is minus 4.3 now from these roots we need to form the uh, auxiliary equation so this will be very simple we write d minus 2.6 here multiplied by d minus of minus 4.3 is equal to 0 this will get us uh, uh, 2.6 here and d plus 4.3 here is equal to 0 and uh, this will be d square plus uh, 4.1.7 d minus 11.18 is equal to 0 okay and this will give our equation as I'll pick up another color y double prime plus 1.7 y prime minus 11.18 y is equal to 0 or this can be written as this format also both of them are the same thing is equal to 0 this is the answer or this is the answer Right friends, so let us move to the next question now. Looking at the, uh, I mean two roots of the uh, second order differ ordinary differential equation, it appears that this is the case of equal and real roots, real roots but equal, okay because this e to the power square minus a square root of 2x is uh, common here at both the places which means the root will be written as plus c 2x e to the power minus 2x and in this case both the roots d1 and d2 will be actually minus of a square root of 2 so this can be written as d minus of minus a square root of 2 is to d minus minus of a square root of 2 is equal to 0 d plus a square root of 2 is 0 yeah. and our equation will be actually y double prime plus 2 root 2 y prime plus 2 y is equal to 0. So let us move to the next uh, question. This this will be the answer for this one. And the next question is question number 18, which is a trigonometric one. So we can understand actually uh, here the solution will be y is equal to c1 of cos 2 pi x plus c2 of sine 2 pi x and uh, 
this is how uh, we write to these kind of equations so, therefore what will be the uh, roots of this the the roots of the ordinary differential equation or the auxiliary equation will be imaginary for this and that will be t plus minus 2 pi i so what is going to be the indicial equation or auxiliary equation this will be d plus 2 pi i is to d minus 2 pi i is equal to 0 and this gets us 4 pi square i square is equal to 0 this will be d square iota square will be minus 1 and that minus 1 uh, will make it plus so here we can write d square 4 pi square is equal to 0 when we open it the required equation will be y double prime plus 4 pi square y is equal to 0 or you can write it 4 pi square y is equal to 0 this is the answer for this one so let us move to the next question this could be little tricky for many of the students because this has got both a real and imaginary part although the equation gives only a kind of imaginary or complex root for this and the roots are very much here the first root is r1 minus 2 plus i the second is r2 minus 2 minus i you, as you know that uh, whenever there is a complex root it will always be in the pair of, always be in a pair because the root will be there and then its conjugate will also be there so we can write here uh, what is the auxiliary equation by subtracting this from d and this will be minus will become plus so this is d plus 2 minus i and this will be uh, d plus 2 plus i iota and then multiply all of this d square plus 2 d here plus this will be d iota minus then in the second this will be 2 d this will be plus 4 and this will be minus of 2 iota in the third one this will be minus d uh, sorry iota d plus iota d and then plus 2i and then this will be minus iota square now looking at this it is very clear that this 2i plus will go with this 2i minus this d i will go with this i d plus and this is minus and we will be left with actually d square here plus 4d here plus 4 here and then minus iota square is equal to 0 okay this will give d square plus 4d plus 4 of uh, this will be minus of iota square will be minus 1 this is 0 and then if I write it here with the red color the solution will be actually auxiliary equation will be d square plus 4d plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, the re equation required actually will be uh, y double prime plus 4y prime plus 5 is equal to 0 or in the d form this will be like this is the answer. Okay. So now we have to move to our next question which is the last one of this section and uh, this is the one. This has got both real and complex portion uh, given here. If we have to write uh, the equation for this will be y and e to the minus 3.1x and then c1 cos 2.1x here plus c2 sin 2.1 x here. Actually the roots here will be r1 uh, minus 3.1 plus 2.1 iota and r2 will be minus 3.1 plus 2 
minus 2.1 iota. Uh, if we have to form the indicial equation for this auxiliary equation, so this will be d minus this one will become plus 3.1 minus 2.1 iota and minus this one will become d plus 3.1 plus 2.1 iota. This will be d square plus 3.1 d minus 2.1 d iota. This will be 3.1 d plus 9.61 minus of 4.41 iota. This will be plus 2.1 d iota and this will be plus 4.41 iota. Now this will not be plus 4.4 friends, this will be something else. This will be 6.51 iota and then this will be plus 6.51 iota and then this will become 4.41 iota square minus of 4.41 iota square. Now <coughs> looking closely we find this is a minus here with plus it will cancel each other out, this minus will cancel this plus positive and we will be left with d square plus 6.2 d here and this will be plus 9.61 and this iota square will make is positive because iota square is minus 1. This we can write 4.41 here and this is 0 9.61 plus 4.41. 14.02. So what we get as an auxiliary equation is 6.2d plus 14.02 is equal to 0. Therefore, therefore our required uh, equation on the ODE will be y double prime plus 6.2y prime plus 14.02y is equal to zero this is the answer right friends this is it in uh, this particular session uh, there were only five questions like this to be done thanks a lot for joining once again bye